Hello. The purpose of this exercise is to do a SQL Performance Analyzer, um, a SQL Performance Analyzer upgrade. In the OCM exam itself, I recall having to import a tuning set, so that's what I've set up here to do. I've created a tuning set outside the database, so the first step is to import it. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's use the tuning sets directory object and I need another file name. Stump file name. We're going to use e users. Say OK. Look the job details. Say OK. We go to running jobs. It's still running, so we'll refresh. Now it finished, and the job completed successfully. Let's verify that by going to uh, um, performance and SQL tuning sets. And let's actually view the tuning set. There's one, one um, SQL minute. This table has no index. Later, we're going to add an index. But for now, this is the SQL that's in it. So now let's go back over here. So the first we have to, the first thing we have to do in SQL Performance Analyzer is actually do a pre-trial test on on the database. And since we're emulating a 10G database, we need to make sure our optimizer is set to a 10G database. So let's check that. I have already done that in advance. So show parameter, parameter optimizer. And notice that the optimizer features enable is set to 10201. You can set this up dynamically. So um, that's already been done. Now let's go to SQL Performance Analyzer. So we're going to do a 10G to an 11G upgrade. We're going to call this SPA upgrade. We're going to use the tuning set that we've imported. There's only the one. And then we're going to create a database link. In our pre-upgrade trial and our post-upgrade trial, we're going to use the same database link, so make sure this is checked. So we're going to create a database link. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, call it something other than the service name. So I'm going to call this OCM link. And uh, um, in this case, my service name is Alice. Create a public database link. This will make things easier for you. Easier for you. Use a fixed user like system. Do not use sys. You should say OK. At this point, the database link is created, so now we need to pick that database link. And uh, um, and here enough, here it is. So boom, we've picked it. So now let's go ahead and say okay. So we go down to this step and we submit it. View view the job details. and it completed. So the next thing we have to do is change our database um, to from a 10G to 11G. I'm also going to add an index and analyze the table and then we're going to see later that things actually got better under 11G. So sort of an artificial test but that's what we're about to do. So now let's do um, alter system set Is 11.2.0.3 and then uh, um, the table that is in our tuning set is owned by a system so let's, uh, sys, so let's go to create um, index OCM index Table row num mm. 
to be I created this in uh, um, the sys schema. Okay, so I have the the table owned in the sys schema. So now let's go ahead and analyze it. So we're going to go exec dbms stats dot gather table stats. The table's owned by sys. It's called OCM table. And let's do cascade is true. Okay, so that's done. So We've upgraded our 10G database to 11G. We've added an index and, um, and gathered table statistics. So we're finished here. Let's go ahead and uh, click here. And at this point, it's going to ask us if we have completed the, uh, the changes between 10G and 11G. And we have to say, yes, we have. So let's go ahead and say yes. So um, looks like it's run another job, and we say OK. And um, so now we're um, ready to view the report. So um, so let's go ahead and do that. And we're done. So we've seen we have shown that the uh, um, the statement under the um, 11G is actually improved versus the 10G. And that was the point of this uh, exercise.